Good afternoon. I am Ruth Fraser, General Manager of Clover Sewing and Craft. I am here to tell you a little bit about our summer program, the third summer program we have had. Uh, the children were doing many skills, learning many skills, and it is my pleasure. I'm really happy about the skills that they, they have learned over the two months. Some students were here for one month, some two months. However, they did basically sewing mainly, but we also did lots of crafts. We did some batik, some macrame, we did Christmas ornaments, we did a little quilting on a lower scale, and but a lot of sewing. Uh, it was very much a lot of fun for the children because they expressed how they were glad and what we're doing next and what we're doing next. So and they learned to crochet in this session. So we have some plush toys that they crocheted, some, some scrunchies, water bottle holder, different items the students have made this time. And I'm very pleased about how it turned out. I am glad to be able to gain, give the students lots of skills for life. What we are teaching them is to be organized, to have skills for life, to have skills where they can make their own money. So it has been a pleasure again, our third annual summer camp, Clover Sewing and Craft. What, what brought on the initiative for this program? Well, actually, this has been a mandate from God himself said to me, teach the young people the skills. And I have been really trying to do that for the past three years. This is our third year doing it. And I can say the children have learned quite a lot, especially in the sewing area. For the basic sewing, we start with the hand stitches and then we go on to the sewing machine where we teach them to do two different types of hems. We teach them basting and permanent and temporary stitches and then we teach them two types of hems and then we move on to the sewing machine which is the fun for them. So they have a lot of practice gaining control of the sewing machine and then their first project is a drawstring bag and then we move on they make a cushion they make a neck pillow and they make different things on the machine and we are hoping that they will continue to get more and more skills in this area now i have other people that work with me i have a lady that teaches the macrame they learn the stitches and then they make a project so some of them made a bag some made toilet tissue holder, plant hanger, and bookmark. And then we have another lady that helps also with the sewing. And they made the pencil case. We give them practical things that they can use. Fabric boxes, things that they will be able to use to, you know, at, as they live their lives. And they'll be able to do more and more for themselves. Then we had another young lady that was in the program last year and I said to her, you are going to come back as an instructor next year and she was right here, all excited, teaching them to crochet, doing different crafts with them, the Christmas ornaments and different things. She was very, very helpful in this summer program. So I'm not alone doing it. I have quite another lady that helps me with the craft area and she volunteers to help me with the craft with them. And they do quite a bit with her. So they have fun over all in all, because she will do like the tie dye, the pencil case, different things she will do with them, but she more works with recycled items. And so we do things from scratch and we do recycling. So um, how, how intuitive was the kids were learning? Well, the kids were very interested, I would say. They, 
they wanted to come and then the feedback from some of their parents said that the, the children were anxious to come and and I could see that they were you know sometimes when they have to rip out something they don't want to do it but it's our part of learning. Hi my name is Olivia Hodge and I learned how to crochet, how to knit and how to sew clothes on the machine and with hand, and hand sewing. So how do you enjoy the actual program? Yeah, it's, it's really fun. Yeah, so the people in there are really nice and they have patience to take time with you if you need to like take more time to learn something as everyone else. They focus on everyone, so. Yeah, if they're interested in learning how to sew and how to make their own clothes and have their way in life without going to other seamstresses or tailors, then yeah, I would suggest it to them. It's an annual event and we are even considering the Easter break, depending on how that would go or when school would close for Christmas, maybe. But it's something that we're thinking about adding because lots of persons uh, contact me and said, I don't have anything to do with my children for the Easter and you're not doing anything. And you know, so we try our best. How can people find you? Okay, we can be reached at clover sewing your craft at gmail.com. We can be reached at 284. My number is 542 4253. My daughter's number is 440-3006. So they can reach us at any of those contacts. Or you can meet me at Clover's. <laughs>